Minister, we are one of the few countries that does not have a statutory maintenance agency. Custodial parents are forced to seek maintenance through a combative uh, court system, and they are also responsible for pursuing non-payment. So my question to the Minister is why, is his, uh, why his department places the responsibility of seeking child maintenance on lone parents themselves? Thank you. Thanks, uh, Mr. Two minutes, Minister. Thank you. Uh, the Family Law Acts are under the remit of the Department of Justice and Equality. They place a legal obligation on parents to maintain their children, whether they are on welfare or not. In cases where the family unit is broken down, these obligations continue to apply and the relevant maintenance payments can be arranged either directly or through, the supports, or through supports like the Family Mediation Service, the Legal Aid Board and the courts. Arrangements of maintenance is therefore a civil matter between parents, regardless of whether or not either parent is, is in receipt of a social welfare payment, and indeed in most cases they are not. In order to be eligible for a social welfare payment, an individual must satisfy the contingency and criteria of the relevant scheme. Needless to say, eligibility for the one parent family payment and job seekers transition payment requires that the applicant is parenting alone. The seeking maintenance condition ensures that both of these schemes remain targeted exclusively at people who are, par who are parenting alone and therefore most in need of support. The vast majority of one-parent family payment and job seekers transitional payment cases where maintenance uh, is, is in payment, lone parents are successful in arranging maintenance themselves are under the family law provisions. The liability to maintain family provision contained in the social welfare legislation is separate to and does not negate or supersede parents' obligations under family law. Currently, contribution assessments can only be carried out where, where the one parent family payment is in payment and this does not extend to other social welfare payments. The Department is currently reviewing the liability to maintain family provisions. The options include extending the liability to maintain uh, to job seekers transitional and possibly other social welfare payments or removing the requirement altogether. This is a very complex issue, and any changes would require significant legislative and operational changes, potentially to family law as well as social welfare law. Any legislative changes will be brought before the Joint Directors Committee for pre-legislative scrutiny. One minute, Deputy. Thanks, uh, let's go, Carla. Minister, the current situation for lone parents when it comes to child maintenance is bizarre, and I think you, you would agree with me there. Uh, but you're actually doing absolutely nothing uh, to address it. Uh, a condition of receiving one parent family payment is that the uh, recipient is obli obliged to seek maintenance from the other parent. After the changes to the one parent family payment back in July 2015, the department wrote out to uh, the non custodial parents, advising them that they were no longer obliged to pay maintenance unless there was a court order in place. And lone parents are now forced to take out court orders to try and seek child maintenance, or else they are at risk of losing their payment. Courts will not issue summonses uh, for maintenance unless custodial uh, parent uh, has a current address for the non-custodial uh, parent, and this is not always known. The lone parent's address is provided on a court order, therefore giving the non-custodial non parent these details. And Minister, in some circumstances, and I'm sure you're quite aware of this, this could put the lone parent in uh, danger, particularly if this was a previously abusive relationship. Once a court order is issued, uh, the Department assesses court order maintenance as a means, regardless of whether it is paid or not, Minister. And that is absolute madness. Lone parents are, are trapped, Minister, and they must seek maintenance to receive payment or risk penalties. Um, and they are worse off uh, seeking it as uh, it is means tested. Um, regardless the if the maintenance is paid or not. And minister, so can I just ask the, the, the Minister this? Yeah. So will you stop leaving it up to the lone parents um, and look at setting up a child maintenance uh, system? Get, uh, one minute. I, I, I think respect to the Deputy is getting, getting a few things um, uh, mixed up here. Um, lots of lone parents and are, are not in receipt uh, of social welfare payments. Um, and this is primarily a matter of family law. And under family law, regardless of anything to do with social welfare, people have an obligation to provide for maintenance of their children. And that is a civil matter uh, between, um, uh, bet between the two parents concerned. 
what the department can do if the person is on the one parent family payment and only the one parent family payment is seek a determination order. Uh, and uh, so, for example, if a lone parent is on disability, if a lone parent is on some other payment, uh, it was never the case that the department could seek a determination. I have a copy of the letter uh, that is issued uh, to partners, and it doesn't say what you say. I'm going to try and dig it out here and read it out. So the information being given on the content of that letter is not fully accurate. And I should say and make it very clear uh, that it's the department's policy uh, never to request uh, a lone parent to contact an abusive partner. Thank and you. seek maintenance. Um, we you. have heard a claim from one representative organisation uh, that was done, um, and we've asked for information in that case, or in any case, uh, so we can see if that's the case, and they haven't provided that information yet. Final supplementary. But we would like, if that's, if that's the case, it's a mistake, well, and we want to know. I, I, I've, also, I've also seen um, that letter that was sent out, Minister, um, but I, I want to give you a couple of examples here. Minister, I know uh, that you love to use the North um, for, for examples um, and uh, as a means to, to, to attack Sinn Féin, so I want to give you one example of how cha- child maintenance actually works in, in the North, and maybe you can look at that and and use it um, in the future. The child service, uh, the child maintenance service in the north sorts out child maintenance for the lone parent. The service finds the non-custodial parent, works out how much maintenance is to be paid by them, arranges the payment method uh, to the lone parent and reviews this payment um, amount annually. If the non-custodial parent fails to make a maintenance payment, they can be fined up to £300 for non-payment. The service can make contact with the employer and they are obliged to uh, provide details so that payment can be taken from the wages or alternatively it can be taken from benefits. The service will initiate court action as a very last resort. Minister, you need to look at this. It's not simple enough to say it's a a civil matter uh, between uh, two two parents. Your department sent out letter, why did you actually send that letter Deputy. out, saying that you know, the non-liable parent has no Deputy. responsibility Deputy, for the child once it reaches seven? I Minister, you need to tackle this issue instead of cutting we, uh, parents' uh, it, means. If we prolong it like this, others will have lost at the end. Deputy, or Minister, one minute. Yeah, as, as, as I say, any, any of those things are, are principally um, um, matters of family law, and I, I'm no expert in the British system or the UK system, um, but certainly at one stage they did have a child support agency, a government agency that would, uh, for want of a better term, uh, go after fathers and uh, get, the, get, get the money from them. Uh, if we were to make a decision to go down that line, it would be really a point of family law. It wouldn't be something that would be exclusive to um, social protection. I am sorry I can't f- find that letter now because I did actually ask for a copy of the letter uh, that is sent out to... Um, that is sent out to um, uh, the other partner, if you like, uh, in such um, in such cases. So, sorry, I, I, I have found it here. And what it says here is, um, uh, is as Mr. or Mrs. X is no longer receiving a one-parent family payment, your liability to pay the contribution assessed by the department has ended. You should be aware, however, that this does not in any way affect any other maintenance arrangement, private or otherwise, that you may have in place with Mr. or Mrs. X, and this should remain in place. So if anyone has informed you that a letter issues from my department saying that fathers, such fathers, no longer have any um, uh, liability, they have misinformed you, and you should be sceptical of what they say to you in future. We move to question uh, 45 in the name of Deputy O'Dea, who is 30 